Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs but the sign that you are here probably means that there is a special message for you so thank you so much for joining me today. Now today is the 6th of June 2022 and it is a Monday the day of the moon and there are no special transits today um, but uh, Except that the moon is in Virgo and it is waxing. It's in its first quarter, I think. So, i just double check actually. Is it in its first quarter? Let me have a little look. Yeah, it's on its waxing crescent. So yeah, it will... So so things, just th thinking about um, things that you want to put into action, things about that you want to uh, put into place, um, that you want to grow. Um, it's very good. Um, I'm definitely feeling like a damp energy. Um, and that kind of damp energy, along with heat, beautiful sun card, right? Um, tends to um, allow things to grow, to sprout very quickly. So uh, that might be something to consider for today. But um, I'm, today I'm using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot. I don't use this a lot. As you can see how beautiful and shiny the deck is. I've already had it a year, I can't believe it. Um, it shows that I've hardly used it, um, but it is a gorgeous deck. I am starting to like it more and more every time I use it. So let's see what the cards have to say for today. Dear Spirit, what messages would you like to convey to the collective today? Dear Spirit, what messages would you like to convey to the collective today? Dear Spirit, what messages would you like to convey to the collective today? Seven of Pentacles. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Strength. So, the, yes, as I said, this is the modern spell casters tarot. Six of Pentacles reversed. And then I'll be clarifying with the... Uh, with Madame Endora's fortune cards. Okay, so we have the High Priestess as well. And we have Temperance. Three majors already. Interesting. Excuse me. Dear Spirit, what messages would you like to convey to the collective today? Ace of Wands. The Ten of Cups. Lovely. The Five of Wands reversed. The Two of Cups, interesting. And the Three of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Okay, so um, the bottom of the deck energy is the Two of Wands. Let me just have a look that you can see all of those bad boys right there. Just move that a bit more central. There we go, right. Yeah, that looks pretty even. Right, okay, so, wow. This is an interesting reading. I see some really beautiful harmony and partnership that's occurring that's actually based on some really congruent values of uh, of um, of what each other wants. Um, but this three of pentacles reversed and this five here is telling me that there's just something that's not a hundred percent it's getting there it's getting there it's almost like you're working towards some kind of um like you're working towards your ideal group you're working towards your ideal uh your ideal um yeah your ideal group um it could be with friends but it starts off with a good partnership between two people people who have the same values who appreciate the same things, who work hard together to create something and have a good balance um, together. It's almost like they know themselves really well. Um, that's so beautiful. And it's also a very balanced relationship because there's no, um, like there's, n there's no one higher than the other. There's no, it, it, it's, it's a communal and it, it's a, balanced and justified relationship 
And that is once there, there possibly is quite good sexual drive within this relationship. If it's not like lots of sex, then it might be, or a good sexuality within the relationship, then it might be a very, um, very productive relationship. And there is a striving towards um, some kind of, uh, you know, togetherness. I see either a, a love relationship or a business, particularly. Because I also almost see this as like the values of the company coming together within that and creating this kind of sense of abundance. Particularly with this Eight of Pentacles, it's almost like two people have come together where they've really wanted to have these people to work together with. That's what I'm getting. And it's almost like everything that they love is within the business. That's why I'm seeing that. If I saw more cups here, I may think, but because we got the Ten of Cups, there is a possibility it could be a love thing. But um, I think that there is a lot of love here. Yeah, that, that, that feels really, it feels really juicy with love. It feels like I can just sense the water just flowing. And then we've also got water in this strength card here. Um, you know, it's almost like, yeah, it is. It's the values. The values are true. The values are real. You both, and you're both at the same level. It may even be that the a relationship, um, you've come together and then you've realized that this is what a relationship is. It may have developed from a business relationship, or you may be entering into a space where you are starting to think about contracts where you are, you know, where you are considering buying houses, property, things like that. Particularly with this, with this uh, Eight of Pentacles, it feels like a, you know, like a possible house, building of a house. And we have a squirrel here and lots of money down there and he's building the house. Now, Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, two eights. So we are in the latter stages of this development. Um, so there is still a lot of worry that's going on with this Eight of Swords here. Almost that the worry and the stability... It's almost like you have a worry in whether or not you have to... Hold on one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely. So um, I also have that as well here. Um, so that that is um, like basically understanding all the different elements um, and also how the elements combine as well um, and how that amalgamates into one. Um, they call it the Ogdagit Star. And, uh, yeah, I'm just feeling like this here, this bull here is telling me that you're worrying about your stability, but I'm telling you, you're pretty safe. Like, <laughs> it's almost like you're worrying for nothing. You're worrying for nothing. And what's really interesting is that the hands aren't even tied up here. He's facing away from the fire. You wouldn't face away from the fire. Um, and it's very loose. And the hands are free. And it's almost like this double kind of binding. It's a very stubborn energy, I feel. It's like almost like, you know, just closing your, putting your hands over your eyes and going la 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 to try and ignore something. It's a bit ostrich uh, vibe here. And then this five of wands, um, this may be like petty arguments that might, yeah, I mean, like this is such a ridiculous five of wands. Like, I, I really love the diversity in this deck. It's what, it's what really attracted me. Like, um, but um, we've got them and they're hitting a, they're hitting a, um, a hive or a hornet's nest. And it's just ridiculous. And it's actually causing like some kind of, it's causing you not to be able to work with each other. But the, but the basis of it is really good. It may be three of you. There may be more of you and two of you really agree. But then um, the, it's, the, there isn't like congruent values. There's something not working here. I almost get it as someone, either either there's like fears that's holding back um, one of the party, or that there is three of you, excuse me, there is, um, there is a few of you, or three of you, and one of those people are refusing to cooperate, they're refusing to play the game, they're refusing, they're actually causing things to be 
a bit, you know. But essentially, the whole thing is brilliant. Like, everything's really great. It's just you've got one little, like, somebody who's just not playing ball. Somebody who's not playing the game. Um, Yeah, that's what I get. But, I mean, it's a minor. Quite literally, it's minor. It's a minor arcana. Um, and uh, you have, like, three beautiful, strong cards here. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. Two of Cups. Hey, beautiful, beautiful. A Six of Pentacles reversed. You've got really, really good cards here. Just this, this element, which is a bit of a waste man energy, I sense. So, yeah. For those of you who are in America and don't understand the term waste man, it's somebody who just wastes time and really isn't worth time. <laughs> That's East London slang for you. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> and even if it isn't a person, it's an energy. It's an energy. It's an ideal. It's a... Um, it's a thought form. Give me one second, my friends. Sorry about that. I thought I heard something outside. Anyway, let's see what the um, fortune cards have to say. The shield. You are safe from harm. It was reversed. There are other cards in this deck that mean that you're not safe from harm. So what I'm thinking is where you are placing yourself in a position where you don't think that you're safe. I mean, that's what first came here, if I'm honest. Rather than somebody actually um, not playing ball, um, which it could be, it was more about how there's a bit of self-sabotage going on here. So so this would match with that. Um, yeah, it's like you don't believe that you're safe from harm, but you actually are. Yeah, you're actually, you're actually okay. There's a little bit of paranoia going on here with that Eight of Wands. Because th there's no need to be. There's a big bull behind you that seems to me that's like, well, I don't know what he's blindfolding himself for and like putting him in front of some, some swords, but he's there. He's doing what he's doing. Everything seems to be okay. Everything seems to be pretty good. Um, the Three of Pentacles reversed is... It's just this 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 dynamic is stopping you from being able to uh to just hope for the future and I think you you need to get those those beliefs about how things are not going to work because not everything is exactly right as you want it to be. Um and put it in the bin. And even if it's to do with someone else, everything else, I think focusing on the positive aspects will be really really beneficial for you and it will stop this five of one stuff occurring and it, and you can turn it back around so that you can actually be this one person here at the side which is just going you know what is that but what's really funny i don't know like you've got several different things i don't know if they're hitting the the thing they're hitting the hive if they're hitting each other and what he's like looking there is just, <laughs> I mean, really, you don't want to be any of these guys. You really don't want to be. Um, but that seems to be what's going on. So, um, yeah, move yourself out of it because you've got like some really great energy here that's actually very, very divine. We've got Hermes here in, in the place of temperance, which is really interesting because usually we would have I think it is Raphael. I'm not sure what is the who is the angel in Temperance, but it's interesting how um, you know we have this the winged, you know the winged uh, feet and the helmet here with Caduceus. I do love that. But yeah, essentially quite happy, um, great energy, um, self sabotage. Don't worry about it. You do deserve it. You do deserve it. Get yourself out this mindset. You may get yourself out actually more with the mindset if you if you concentrate more on the work and also focus on what the good things are within the relationships and within your company. I think that might help. Anyway, my angels, um, my angels. Oh, look at that! I called you my angels. Anyway, my darlings, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you did enjoy this reading. It was a very interesting reading. I liked it. I liked it. Kind of was saying about being grateful for everything that you've got. 
because not everything's going to work out in your favour and you're not going to be able to work with everyone, but that's okay. Um, if you did like this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to subscribe, please do consider subscribing. I upload every day. And um, otherwise, thank you so much um, for watching and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.